like I don't even know where to begin. I was not expecting to love this the way that I love this. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube. So in today's video, I have... Oh, <laughs> I have an amazing haul. I have one of the best hauls that I've done thus far on this channel. I'm super excited for today's video. These are perfumes that I've been wanting for quite a while. These are perfumes that I can't afford. <laughs> and I was gifted them by a new company to me. And I'm sure to most, they're fairly new, so I don't think a lot of people have heard about them. And they were more than enough kind to gift me these products. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek. You guys ready? You guys ready? Ready, ready, ready? Oh. I'm definitely gonna break something so let me just put it down before you know just trying to be funny and yeah so anywho these products are sent to me by one of the best companies and i'm not saying that just to say that this is literally one of the best companies that i've worked with thus far and i don't even feel like i worked with them the whole transaction itself was so smooth so easy the person that i was in contact with he or she oh my god like customer service a1 i'm gonna say she i'm not sure if she was a she actually i'm gonna say they because i'm just not sure but they were like pick four perfumes anything that you want and send it our way and they didn't specify like a budget or brands and stuff like that like i kid you not like i was shook and i was like okay and i felt kind of weird you know but i was like i'm gonna just pick things that i really really wanted for quite a while and i know that i can't afford at this moment except for one of them because one of them i was gonna buy myself and then i sent them the list and then they just sent me a code and they were like okay play this a car and it'll be free and i was like <laughs> and the reason i'm mentioning this i don't say this to brag or anything like i'm not like that i recommend as a consumer and mostly in hindsight thinking of like the people that watch me the customers and stuff and full transparency reasons i just don't think that they're the best when it comes to creators like they low-key be trying us but the reason i still mention them and support them is because i know that they have good prices nevertheless and at the end of the day you guys are the ones that watch me so my content is for you anyways you know what i mean my opinion of course it's always mine but when it comes to pricing and stuff like that like that's the reason i still mention them but behind the scenes as a creator um i don't think that they have the best service but this service was a one customer wise creator wise i'm just like beyond surprised that like they even gifted me this because i feel like i don't deserve it i'm literally surprised at the selection that they had and oh my god the shipping that's another thing that i had ordered something from another company and it was taking forever and then i got this shipment and i thought that it was like that other package that i had ordered quite a while because i was not even close to thinking that this package was going to arrive soon because i had literally placed the order just a few days ago and it was during the holiday time and all that so i was not expecting this package at all and i open it and i see like bdk and i'm like already like i'm so like i'm so surprised by this company like this is how businesses should run like if i had a business best believe i would run it like this well i've had a perfume business because you know i have another business but whatever anywho <laughs> but you know what i mean so i'm super super surprised and once again thank you so much i don't even think i mentioned the brand but i'll put it on screen and it's called fab grants and like thank you guys so much i'm so like utterly grateful you have no idea i'm so so surprised and if you are a creator and they reach out to you highly 100 recommend them <laughs> i feel like worthy you know like oh my god like i'm worth it to them to be sending me these expensive ass products but anywho and very grateful for the people that watch me whether you agree with my opinion or not uh you guys are very very loyal to me and respect my thoughts so with that being said Wow, that was a long intro huh but i feel like they very well deserve that long intro so i'm gonna start i guess with the most i don't want to say hyped but the most product that i was like the most interested in and this is from bdk gris charnel and i was super intrigued by this product first of all i absolutely love the packaging like like this is some nice packaging but i was super intrigued by this product because i was watching some reviews and everyone kept saying that they were super cozy and uh based on notes i was like like i just didn't see how it would be a cozy scent but i was like f it like f it like there were other things that i low-key wanted more but i was so intrigued by this one and i didn't want to 
just being real with you guys i didn't want to purchase it myself and it being like a fail so i was like whatever if they're giving it to me then i guess i'll try for free right so that's what i ended up doing and um i was disappointed <laughs> i actually did not like it i much rather now would have preferred to get rouge smoking the reason i didn't get that one is because of aisha's review she did a full-on review i'll link her video down below on rouge smoking and um that's the reason i didn't get it it just made no sense because the notes look so cold the color gray gives me a cold vibe yet people were saying that it's cozy so i was like how like i would have thought that this you know like I, I don't understand so it was my curiosity uh but i really wish that i would have gotten rouge smoking at this point but let's get to the scent right so this actually smells to me like a guy in the weirdest way because it doesn't smell cologne but for some reason to me this smells like a guy very light in the air yeah i can smell it more like if i smell it on the cap or on skin but anywho this lasts a very long time very long lasting i want to say like 24 hours but it is more of a cozy closer to the skin scent more of like a netflix and chill the reason i don't like this is because it's an odd one and it oddly makes me nauseous i'm not sensitive to perfumes actually but this one it's not one that like i want to say like it gives me a headache or i want to throw up because it doesn't do any of that but it's a very unique perfume in the sense that it's cozy yet it has a very cold uh, medicinal herbal vibe about it and i should have known uh, one of you guys one of my what i call subby friends told me ritz hey girl hey i should have listened to you but she told me that it does have a medicinal vibe i will say though that i do think that it has a cozy vibe as well but it's uh, i don't know it kind of reminds me of angels share the dry down of angels uh share it has like a sweet woody scent about it but it also still smells like a guy so it's sweet fresh yet cozy yet very cold at the same time and it kind of puts me in the mind of like a tea like that's the herbal medicinal vibe that i get like a tea like some sort of herbal tea it's not in the rich um decadent sweet cozy way it's not like loon feline for example where that one is rich decadent vanilla it's not like that this one still has like that very translucent vibe about it but i don't care for this uh so yeah i'm i just don't care for it and it has a little bit of i want to say barber shoppy vibe i think ritz said that as well and i guess that's where i get like that guy scent so it's not cologne but it does have a little bit of like a barber shoppy vibe about it very unique but it's not one that i know that i'm gonna reach for so this one for me was um unfortunately a fail okay so that is bdk Grey Chanel. All right, so another one that I actually sampled, and I said that I would actually get a full bottle. Who knows when I would have gotten a full bottle? To be real, because it is a very pricey one. So when I saw it on their site, which by the way they have a great selection of things, things that like you don't really see on other sites, and they have really really good pricing. And yeah, I can't believe that I have this in my collection. Like I'm just like looking at it, and I'm like in awe. Like I cannot believe me. Maria, I have this in my collection. Like, who would have known? Literally, eternally, eternally grateful. I sample this. I'll link the video up above and below of when I sample this perfume, and I was like, just mesmerized. I don't think it's a scent for everyone, but I really like it. It's very arrogant, very, very, very mature, womanly, very empowering. It has this tobacco floral aspect very different very unique very like i said arrogant uh, prideful even it smells bitchy to me <laughs> very just very empowering like i love this this ugh, it's i believe there's jasmine in here and tobacco that's like the most prominent to me but i remember when i smelled it it reminded me of like a uh, mac velvet teddy but without the sweetness of mac velvet teddy and it was more of like add florals to mac velvet teddy and take out the honey and just leave the tobacco if that makes sense very empowering this is a bossy like bossy like mean so oh, i love it i'm so so happy to have this in my collection and as soon as i saw it i was like like i hope that they're gonna let me buy this because i really want this and if it weren't for them i probably wouldn't have it in my collection within the next year <laughs> so i'm very very grateful to have this and i absolutely love it old money vibes old money vibes. okay so the next one that i have now in my collection 
is Delina from Parfums de Mali. Perfume, Parfum, Parfum de Mali. <laughs> so I already have Delina exclusive um, and I did want to add the original Delina in my collection. Out of all these, this is actually one that I was going to purchase myself for springtime because my first love was Delina. But I got Delina exclusive first just because temperature wise I felt like it was more appropriate and I felt like I would get more use out of it. So I got the exclusive. But if you guys know, I love the scents like I love this scent and I wanted to have both of them the more tart fresh version of it um and the more creamy slightly powdery more mature version of delina so that's why i can justify having both so even if they weren't gonna give me this one i was gonna buy it by myself so when i saw it on their side i was like might as well just add it for free <laughs> so i'm not gonna go like too deep into that one but that's just one that i really wanted and i'm very very happy and grateful to have okay so. and now moving on to my most favorite my most surprising purchase from all of this and this is, you guys ready? This is BDK Tuberose Imperial Tuberoses Tuberose Imperial. I, I know someone's gonna correct me. So it's this one right here and it's the Tuberose one. I like, I don't even know where to begin. I had been told about this one before from Ritz. I had been told about this one before from Ollie. But when they told me, I was interested, but I wasn't that interested, you know? At that point, you know, I didn't really want to sample it because samples are still expensive, blah, blah, blah. And I was just adding more other things into my collection that were more of a safe blind buy for me, you know? So especially because currently, like, I have certain goals and I'm just not spending stuff that I don't need to be spending. I saw this on their side and I was like, I'm going to get it now. This is the time to get it, right? Once again, I'm getting it for free might as well just try it <sighs> i was not expecting to love this the way that i love this <sighs> like this <sighs> now this one i smell in there this was love at first night for me if you are a tuberose lover you're going to love this and if you're not i still feel you will like it because a lot of people like velvet uh, vanilla even people that are not tuberose lovers like velvet vanilla and this is a way better version of that one way better version i do have actually and this is one that i wasn't too sure i was going to keep i ended up keeping it because i do love the sillage of it the way it projects the way that it smells on other people the way that it smells on me basically the way that people perceive it off my skin the way that i perceive it once it gets to the dry down the opening i absolutely hate <laughs> the opening is very pungent very yeah it's sharp it doesn't smell very well blended in my opinion there's something like citrusy about it and sweet at the same time and synthetic smelling it just smells cheap in my opinion the opening i absolutely hate now tuberose imperial from bdk i absolutely love i find it to be the more elegant version of it from opening to end it's a gorgeous scent i think it's just more elegant more classy more mature smelling and i don't mean that in uh like it smells like an old lady i find velvet vanilla more young more flirty more fun more yeah just more young it just smells more youthful to me and this one to me smells way better more classy just more feminine in my opinion and whereas i find velvet vanilla more unisex not that it smells like a guy because i do find it to be more of a feminine scent i still think that it smells amazing on a guy that enjoys tuberose and that enjoys sweet like candy like perfumes this one i find it way more feminine in a very classy way and i prefer it much on a woman I, oh my god i love it i love it i love it it's not a like for me this one is a love like i love this perfume i find this to be like the uh tuberose version of delina exclusive but on a lighter note still has great great longevity though like i've been wearing this one to work and i just like am in my scent bubble all along and i feel so so good like i just feel so feminine and well put together and classy i love it this is a great like work scent but an everyday scent a great signature scent or like a great like date like a dinner date but definitely more upscale it just has that very luxe vibe about it the two bros in here is very smooth it's creamy it's bubblegummy i just 
I really like this perfume. So I'm so happy and so grateful to have it in my collection. And thank you so much to Fab Grands for providing me not only just this, but all these goodies. Like I would have never tried any of these products. So thank you guys so much. Like I'm literally, I can't say this enough. I'm eternally grateful. And let's talk about the bottle though. Like the bottle is gorgeous. Like <sighs> I just want to cry. Like it's... Mm. Alright, so before I leave though, I do want to mention a couple of pointers that they gave for me to show you guys and what they provided uh, for me to tell you guys is really just to help you. So I have a code, like most videos, you have a code. So I have a welcome 10 promo code for your first order. Now this one is very important. So listen out y'all. And I, like I was reading these pointers and I was like, why did I not hear about these people before? So anyways, they want me to inform to you guys that they have a no minimum shipping policy unlike other places where you have to purchase x amount of dollars for them to offer free shipping they have a no minimum shipping policy meaning if you buy let's say a fragrance for 20 dollars you will not be paying for shipping the only thing that you pay is for obviously sales tax and they put here depending on the address so i'm assuming that some people don't even pay for that so and we're not done yet it gets better so when you guys purchase a minimum of 50 dollars at checkout they do have another code for you guys to receive seven dollars off any order and the code is minimum 50. another one they have 20 percent off all prada inventory the code is prada they have 20 percent off all mancera inventory i know a lot of you guys like mancera and the code is mancera they have another 20% off Creed inventory. The code is Aventus. That's kind of funny. And they have 20% off Montal. I can't pronounce Montal. 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 You guys know what I'm talking about. Inventory. It's my accent. And the code is Montal. I'm going to have all of that linked down below. They also have the general like customers newsletter that you guys can uh, sign up to get monthly deals and whatnot. And one thing that was very unique to me that I got and I was like, what the heck is this? But they sent me an ebook after the purchase and it was like an ebook of basically just like general like perfume um, information. So if you are just getting into fragrances, this is really good for you. So yeah, <sighs> wow. Very surprised with them. Not only, like I said, from a customer viewpoint, but just a creator viewpoint. Like I've never worked with a company uh, fragrance wise, fragrance related, that was just so easy going. Now my suggestion, suggestion, to them is actually if you guys should look into affiliate marketing because i would definitely link you guys like <laughs> also another thing that i want to mention is shipping wise like i said it was super fast but i do live in the u.s now i did speak to another creator that lives in canada and she said that for shipping in canada coming from the u.s she was also very shocked and impressed like how fast it came for me customer service quality wise and everything wise was definitely an 11 out of 10 like i'm shook so that's pretty much it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you guys have any questions please don't forget to check out the description box very detailed there or if you guys have any further questions that you do not see in the description box then please comment down below as always i hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye guys